Hey guys, what's up? Black Art Bricks here, back with another video. So today I wanted to show you guys exactly how the Bricklink Studio works. So you go to Bricklink's website, you press on Studio, and this is actually the gallery right here. So you can take a look at some of the awesome creations that some other people on Bricklink have made. And there are quite a few really, really interesting creations on this. There's a typewriter here, a little overflowing sinks, tree. You can get some great inspiration off this, and you can have... There are a couple of filters, so there's AFOL designer program, vehicle, military space, mecha, building, animal, and a ton of others. Now you can also check out my studio, and these are creations that you have made. I don't have any unpublished designs. I think I have two that I published. So there's this one, which is a mosaic I made of one of my friends. Just a basic start, and then this one was a bit more of an advanced one. Then you can obviously download the app. I am running it on a Mac on a Mac right now, so I already have it downloaded, but you can download it just like that. Or you can download this amazing parts designer, so you can actually create new parts, which is really cool. So like something like that. Obviously, this is just an online parts designer, so it won't actually send you the pieces. It'll just be online, but it's pretty cool regardless. There's also this builder forum online, which is fantastic. And then there's just... A full program, a full design program help. This is just for the sets that they had, so that's not relevant. So here I'm going to go to home and I'm going to press on the little icon for studio and it should load. So now I have this open. I'm not going to update it right now. And it takes you to a screen just like this. So what you want to do is press create new. So what I'm going to tell you now is just some basic tools to help you use this studio. So if you use two fingers and you swipe up or down, it will zoom in or out. Now if you want to rotate it, use those two fingers and then just move them however you want. You can look at it from all sorts of different angles. And then if you want to actually move it from side to side, hold, oh, sorry about that. Hold down two fingers and the space bar. So you put down the space bar and now you can move it side to side. So those are the three basic things that you can do. And there are a ton of pieces. One of the great things about Studio is that it has all the parts that Bricklink does, and it's organized in the same way. So you have aircraft, animal, antenna, arm, bar, base plate. And you might notice how when it gets to brick, there's no brick modified. So what you have to do is you just click on that little arrow, and all the other things come down. You can pick up a piece just like that, put it down, Put it down, and maybe I want to change the color, right? So I press on this button right here, paint, and maybe I choose blue. I want a, I want a blue honeycomb. Oh, sorry about that. And you can change it just like that. So you probably noticed over here it has this little exclamation point. It says color unavailable. And the great thing about designing on Studio is that it shows you which colors are available currently or which ones are not. So it, it'll show me just check issues down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we delete those. Now if I pull up that beehive again, and now let me try, how about a yellow? It'll probably work. Let's see. It still says not available. I'm, I'm actually not sure, honestly, which color the beehive comes in. So let me just search it up. All right. So it comes up in bright light orange. So... Let's say I was to change this oh. to bright light orange. So now it shows that this is available. And when I actually go over it just like this, it'll even show me down here the price, 1071. And the great thing is you can upload it to a cart. So all the pieces in this can easily be added to a wanted list. Or you can export a parts list in an XML file. So it is quite fantastic in that manner that you have infinite parts in infinite colors. So that's a really awesome thing about it. But yeah, that's pretty much how to use BricklinkStud.io. If you guys have any other questions and you want me to make a follow-up video to this sort of thing, just let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching and have a fantastic day. Stay healthy.